Welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y in the Morning at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media platforms at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me. Thank you very much for staying tuned for my seven and still ongoing. Let's do this. So I don't to our Facebook page. We have a question for you and they're asking how do you uh, come up with a business name? That is if you're intending to get into business, if you're already into business, how did you go about just getting the right name that is suitable for you when it comes to uh, naming your business. So in this particular session, we are switching off gears, yes, onto matters pertaining film industry. So the COVID-19 has disrupted uh, the economy globally and uh, the film industry is one of them that has been affected. And in studio right now, I have none other than Lawrence Njue, who is the CEO of Dalmic Media and uh, Premier Films. Thank you very much for creating time, uh, Lawrence. Thank you for having me around, Michelle. Okay. Yeah. So I would like to find out, even before you go further uh, onto your bio and uh, your achievements, I would like to first highlight that you are, you are a winner of a cash prize of 250000 uh, stimulus package from Kenya Film Commission. Yeah, so, sure. <laughs> for the short film Vivian, yeah. the only one in Embu County, sure, specifically, sure. you have to specify that, <laughs> the only one in Embu County. Uh, sure, sure. How was the feeling like working away with 250,000? And I'm so sure other people, other filmmakers had submitted uh, for their projects, but you guys stand out. Um, well, I, that is. I must admit that uh, it was really a good feeling. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, uh, winning such kind of amount but again I would like to sp to specify and clarify that uh, this is not a personal uh, um, package that I'll take home all alone mm -hmm. this is a funding that uh, I was given my my company was given Dell McMeade was given mm -hmm. uh, so that I can go and produce this short film so uh, to me I have that good feeling uh, that I will be able to work with uh, quite a number of people, talents mm -hmm. down there at Embu, Embu County mm -hmm. uh, without much strings, without financial strings to shoot this short film, Vivian. So it's it's really an exciting moment to me. All right, so this was an, an injected sort of kind of uh, capital to just uh, yes. uh, go work on Vivian. Yes, I, actually we can call it, a, it's, it's, it's like a commissioning from mm -hmm. Kenya Film Commission. All right, so you've mentioned a couple of things so I would like to find out, like, in, maybe you can break it down for us. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the cash prize, which is 250k. Uh -huh. How do you intend to just uh, uh, divide it and just use it for the project? Uh, uh, and how uh, many projects can it sustain actually? 250k. Uh, uh, basically, basically, uh, 250,000. It's 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 purely for 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 short film Vivian. Mm -hmm. uh, that. Uh, uh, we, we, we applied for the short film Fivian mm -hmm. and uh, I must admit that uh, it's not really much it's really not really much but it can sustain the short film Vivian however we are trying to look for more partnership with uh, other stakeholders at Embu uh, on and across the country where the, because we, 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 we hand another short film we really wanted to work with for Two short films. One is uh, Vivian, and there is another one called The Unseen Boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so much interested in that. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really a quite an interesting story. <laughs> and both stories, I'm the writer, okay. and I'm intended to to, to direct, mm -hmm. and I'm in partnership with uh, uh, some other friends of mine of films in Embu. Allow me to mention them. Uh, we had we have Extahid Highs. Uh, guys like OJ mm -hmm. uh, down there at Embu, we are working with them. We have uh, he's currently at a Talent Academy Embu. He's a filmmaker at Embu Talent Academy, mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, 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 another one called Ashley Imakiriti Morugi. She's uh, in uh, Governor's uh, Office Communication Department, and we are working together with these guys. Eh? to make sure that we nurture and we work together with uh, Embu talents down there. Uh, let me tell you, Michelle, we, we, we held auditions on Thursday mm -hmm. down there at Embu and we came to realize that Embu kuna talents mob sana zimekuwa and nurture mm -hmm. and that's where we want to go because it's a green, it's a green, uh, it's a green ground. We, we've had a lot of talents uh, on a national 
uh, image eh, mm -hmm. coming from Embu, but people really don't know that they are coming from Embu. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that when I went there, I realized that they have decided to go back there to do things there, to do films there. So we decided let's work together in this one. Uh, we were together with them and we shall work with them in Vivian and then in Boyfriend. Okay. Uh, you've mentioned something which is quite uh, important, especially for young people who are, who are looking forward to get into the film uh, industry. Some, uh, the issue of finance. Mm. Okay. Mm. Most people have these projects on papers and they want to just actually bring it into visualization and they are wondering how are they going to get the capital. Mm. And here's your story whereby you had a proposal and you just went to the Kenya Film Commission and they actually funded mm. your your project. So what what would be your message for a young person who wants to get into film industry and will be will be hesitating because of the financial aspect? Uh this is a very good question, Michelle, and I have to say these are uh, uh, to, 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 to young men who really want to venture into film and this is a question that even on a personal level they have come asking me I have, a, I have an idea that I really want to shoot but how do I go about it and you go on asking them we copy your idea can I ha, can I see it but uh, it's in my head eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you must be very well prepared mm -hmm. and would you keep channels so that uh, when this this kind of uh, calling for submission comes, you can be ready and submit because um, I think this is the first time now we are seeing the, the trophies of film in uh, in this country and we have uh, commend the good work that Kenya Film Commission is doing mm -hmm. because this is the first time as filmmakers are joining now that we can be funded to go and make films. Mm. Apart from these short films that we are getting now, we hand them My Kenya, My Story. This is the third edition. Mm. Uh, we have a film empowerment that uh, Kenya Film Commission empowered uh, some other films. Eh? These were larger, larger projects. The, some films were awarded uh, 3 million, 4 million. Mm -hmm. This is the first time we are seeing this kind of thing. So if you have an idea, please put it into writing. If you're not good into writing, you can look for a script writer, you can look for a producer. Put down your script very, very well and look out for these kind of callings. Mm -hmm. Apart from Kenya Film Commission, there are other uh, broadcasters that call for submission for scriptings. You can submit your script and if it is in good, just learn how to, to, to do submission. Do your script well, do your budgeting well, everything well, story writing well, mm -hmm. treatment. And when not the submission is called for, you just submit, mm -hmm. you give it a try. Mm -hmm. I normally tell people that you cannot lose anything by trying, but, but you lose a lot by not trying. That's true. So uh, every time you hear the submissions, just be the first one to, to try it out. Try out that particular opportunity out there. So before we even go further and dive into matters of filmmaking and about uh, and also in your, about your company, uh, they'll make, I would like to find out yeah, sir. who is Lawrence Njue before the filmmaking? Uh, well, uh, Lawrence Njue is just a mwanaiji wa kawaida, anakula githeri, anakula chaya subu. Just born uh, and bred at Embu County. Mm -hmm. I come from Embu County, mm -hmm. a place called Kihumo in Rinjaja's constituency. I'm mm -hmm. um, the fourth born of a uh, family of five mm -hmm. and uh, a, a very passionate filmmaker and uh, a producer. Uh, I have been in a TV producer for quite a while mm -hmm. and uh, content creator. Basically, that's my life. I'm mm -hmm. a filmmaker. I like calling myself a filmmaker. Okay, so are uh, you a TV producer, then uh, there is music producing? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, or basically, film production. Sengine mm -hmm. in Shikabaka music production. Because okay. before I, uh, I got myself fully into music production, mm -hmm. I started doing, uh, into film production, I started doing uh, music production, mm -hmm. uh, audio production, um, I used to do a lot of audio mm -hmm. production and video, music video production. Mm -hmm. And then I found myself, I think my love for film really surpassed everything else mm -hmm. and got myself fully into film. Oh, but yeah. up to date still, I'm still passionate about music. I do music, but mm -hmm. I can't say it now it's full time. Mm -hmm. I do it uh, part time. Okay. Uh, for, for, for our viewers who may not know this, when it comes to production, TV, when it comes to music producing and, and our filmmaking, there are things that will actually just 
connect or just work or correlate to each other when it comes to the making. But I like to find out the transition for you mm -hmm. uh, from being on TV producing. Probably you could tell us what you were producing back then and then now just uh, transition into now getting into filmmaking. Uh, I would really rather call it a transition because it, okay. it's, it's basically this, it's almost the same film mm -hmm. because uh, when you talk of when you talk of film, it's it's all art. Yes. And when you talk of film, mm -hmm. uh, w when you watch film, there are those music scores that you you, you listen to hear. Uh, yes, they are theme, theme, theme songs. Absolutely. So still, music you cannot do music without me. Uh, you cannot do film without music. So. Uh, uh, and then again, TV production is. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I was about. I was. Uh, I have been a TV producer mm -hmm. for uh, a couple of series mm -hmm. in vernacular and and uh, and a Swahili and uh, movies. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so basically, it's almost the same field because uh, in TV I was doing directing, scripting, mm -hmm. uh, and producing. And the same thing, that's a, the same things that are really happening, uh, filmmaking. So I wouldn't really call it transitioning, but uh, it has been a journey. Yes. And there was that car calling that I was feeling even when I was doing music production. Mm -hmm. Because before I, if I got myself into music production, I mm -hmm. remember one time, at that time I remember I was living at Marsavit. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, one day I'll do a film. And I wrote it down. I said, one day I'll do a movie. And people get sit down and watch this. Mm -hmm. At that time, I had to see where to start. Mm -hmm. See anyone who could mm -hmm. guide me. But I knew God in heaven would take me through. And uh, when I left my Marusabet, I came. I, at that time, I was living at Meru. Mm -hmm. I went back to Meru. I started composing myself. I started composing music. I found myself going to studio and recording. Mm -hmm. And uh, surprisingly. Uh, the, the first music I record, because I, I used to sing, I, I do sing even now, but mm -hmm. Nizile, not commercial. Nilijipata, music yangu haiku ingia poa. So I, I, I said, you know what, I'll go and learn about this production and get to know where did this producer go wrong. I don't want anyone else to go the, 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 the route that I went through. Mm -hmm. I started uh, coaching myself uh, about uh, music production mm -hmm. and in San Luis music production that's now where I got fight uh, to meet with uh, friends of mine mm -hmm. who are really passionate about film mm -hmm. and we yes <laughs> continue <laughs> yeah we, we we came together uh -huh. and now I came to realize now my calling f and passion for film is now taking baby steps okay and uh, my journey from there just we are here today, yes. All right. So you mentioned something again, uh, which uh, I would like for you to clarify for our viewers. Uh -huh. uh, you've said that uh, when it comes to music production, you had to like get the skills, coach yourself, you know, and get involved with people who into the music industry. How about the filmmaking? Did you go to school to to uh, obtain these particular <laughs> skills uh, on matters uh, of pertaining film and yeah. just for, for the viewers mm. who would like to get into this particular kind of business and they were wondering how am I going to go about yes. filmmaking? Yes, yeah. filmmaking is a, uh, it's not, you just don't wake up and decide that uh, you, you want to do film. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that you need training. Mm -hmm. You need to get a lot of training. You need to know how to do scripting. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to do camera work. You need to know how to do uh, directing. Because if you really want to do, do your producer, you have to be all rounded. You have to understand uh, how is this mm -hmm. story like. You need to understand the camera angles. You need to understand uh, the, the, the direct, the lighting aspect. So you <laughs> okay. need to know. To be you need all to rounded. Be trained. Okay. Yeah, you need to be trained. And, and, and I got my training to at face to face entertainment. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that's where I. Yeah. But again, training enough is not in, uh, training uh, alone is not enough. Okay. Because. Kuna wazazi wanasema, sasa hui mtoto wangu mimaliza shule, why don't you just take him and do what things is vitu munafanyanga? You have to be passionate about this. Or mpatia sasa kazi sasa. You see? You have to be passionate about this because you can get a lot of training and you end up to nowhere. Because we have seen a lot of people. And let me tell you one thing, Michelle. In this industry, we've got a lot of people who are in this industry and they were their profession is not film. Mm -hmm. We have accountants, bankers, teachers, and what have you. But the passion in them, 
walijipata wameacha walimu wameacha banking wameacha mm. all these kind of uh, accounting wameingia kwa film it's not that <laughs> film is not for retreat so where there is a will there is definitely a way you see okay <laughs> right. so so for the guys back at home when you are like they will, they will just go to youtube and check out how it's going to be done that is not enough they have to be on the on the field and just get to work with other people in the film industry yes it is not enough and i have to let me make this for record mm -hmm. eh? uh, we have very 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 passionate and very professional filmmakers in this country mm -hmm. and I, I, re, I don't want to mention names eh? mm -hmm. but when I, I interacted with them how are they and actually filmmaking they have been on a so amazing maneno online and, and if you're really passionate about this and maybe you don't have school fees to go to uh, film school and either tutorials YouTube tutorials they are there they will teach you kucha set to to chapekazi you'll see how things are done you learn one or two th uh, things and uh, if you are really again I'll say it, if you are really passionate about this it will happen it will happen sure. okay so for this uh, may maybe you can mention for how long you've been to this film industry and your first experience on set how was <laughs> it well I have been here for quite a while um, because I started as an actor okay before I, I ventured into uh, being a producer. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I, I was narrating this, uh, my ordeal to another friend of mine, how I came to TV for the first time. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, my first appearance was on TV was at KPC. A praise call, uh, a show that Our was... mother channel, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a, a show, that show was called Malaika. Mm -hmm. And I was acting as a, as a lawyer. So you said you could have come to court, you could have come to How long was this? Uh, that's 11 years back. Mm -hmm. So this is what happened, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, just as a passion, you could have done it. Uh, I was a great fan of this show. Mm -hmm. It used to, came, to come on every Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Okay. So every Saturday I was there at KBS watching mm -hmm. this program. And they used to, say, to tell my, my people, you know what, I love so much love this program. And mm -hmm. if I get a chance, I think I can act this on. Mm -hmm. So I have a friend of uh, some good friends here at KBC. Mm -hmm. I asked them, how can I join this program? And they told me, you need to just look for the script writer and tell them uh, what you really need to do. And so I waited for credits mm -hmm. to run. And I saw the names that some familiar names. Uh, there was this guy called uh, Julius Chege. Mm -hmm. He used to act as Mponda as, uh, at Tausi. Mm -hmm. And I. I, I, I decided to look for him. Do you know, I found him. I met with him at a uh, street, uh, he had streets at Nairobi. He comes to my mission, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm so passionate about filmmaking, uh, about acting, and I really want to join Malaika. I can you Lisa, do you have any experience? I used to act inside his school, what have you? But I've never acted in TV. Mm -hmm. And said, come for auditions, we will we'll audition you. If you fit for that role, mm -hmm. we'll give you. I went to for auditions and they auditioned me, they gave me a role and I passed and that's how I got into TV. And the rest is history. <laughs> oh, wow. the rest is history. Now we are at, now, now we are at the place where we have Dalmic Media yes. and Premium Films. So how did you come up with the name? Because the question of our day, <laughs> question of the day on yeah. our Facebook page is if you want to start a business, yes. uh, how do you go about just uh, choosing uh, just a vague, Good business name for your own business. Mm. So the question is, uh, Dalmic Media mm -hmm. and Premier Films. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with the name? Oh. And uh, what does uh, the sure. film company have to offer? Um, that is different. Siju, Premium and Dalmic. Should I, let me start with Premier because it's the... Yeah. So how Premier Films was, was born, eh? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a partnership between me and my good friend. He's a very great cinematographer, mm -hmm. and I to a Don Kaimeni. We've been doing stuff together for quite a long time, and uh, initially had a, a, a production that was called Soft Lane Media. It was a it was a partnership. Now, now because uh, my partner decided to venture into some other things, which is okay. Mm -hmm. I was left hanging. I could not operate so much with Softline Media. Uh, and him, he has a, a production company because he's still a music video producer and, and, and video producer. So, Yaki uh, Neto Lions Productions. So, we were working Lions Production and uh, Softline Media. 
So every time when we are doing a film, tukajipata tunange tunaeka a lot of companies mm -hmm. uh, kwa, kwa kwa credits. We thought why don't we just come up with one a production company either kwa partnership yetu everything. Yes, you have your allowance production. I have my soft line, but we need to to to, to have one that we can it's a center of our interest. So we sat down and decided to uh, click our minds, which is the best name. So Premier Films, uh, for those people who are familiar with uh, filmmaking and editing, mm -hmm. there is a software called Adobe Premiere. Oh, yeah. So we decided, let's get a name that has a tool in filmmaking. Oh, wow. So we saw in Kaona Adobe Premiere, that's what we use for. We cannot call it, of course, Adobe, uh, yes. but we, cannot we can call it Premiere. Premiere without an E, Mwisho. Creativity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it's good. <laughs> so it's Premiere Films. Part that's, of the tool when it comes to filmmaking. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. how we, we, we came to mm -hmm. get this one. And to get after you know, register, and it was a, um, okay. a good uh, business. That's how we came up with the name of uh, Premier Films. Oh, so right. Premier Films is a partnership mm -hmm. and it still exists in existence. Now come to Dell Media. Dell Media I really had to uh, sit down and think and think and think and think. But uh, I looked at my family. I'm a family man. I'm a father of two daughters. Mm -hmm. My firstborn daughter is called uh, Debrin, Debrin Jerry. And my last one is called Mikel. So I took those names and tried to play around with them and came to De Del for Debrin, uh, L for Lawrence, M for Mikel, MK for Mikel. Mm -hmm. So basically, Delmic Nijineao, Watotoangu Awili na Mimi. Delmic Media. That's how I came, came with it. Uh, so so your name, the name for your business uh, came from a, from a point of uh, people who are special to you. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so when I wake up in the morning, I, uh, when I look at my two doors, mm. I, see, I see my company mm. uh, around my house. Okay. So for the for person who is watching this, hey, butter in the morning. For the person who is watching <laughs> this and they are looking forward to start a business and they are wondering, what's the process should I take just to come up with a business name, an ideal business name mm. that we stand up? in the market uh, what would you tell that particular person you have to look for a very striking name mm -hmm. you cannot just wake up and call your business avocado <laughs> avocado filmmaking mm -hmm. those are two different ventures mm -hmm. if you want to do for instance let me talk about this filmmaking if you want to talk about a filmmaking you have to look at a name that can really strike it really looks like a film it looks mm -hmm. like a, a movie it looks like a a series I've, lo I've loved watching or mm -hmm. something of the sort. So you have to look for a striking and easy name mm -hmm. that uh, it's not compli complicated. Sio jina ukipatia mtu atanza kushiraba kisi yo ni jina ni gani. Just try to, like, to, to look for a easy name that can sell easily. Okay. And then there is uh, uh, the, the, the government of Kenya, uh, right now they are giving out a uh, business name for just business registration within a day. Mm -hmm. So you can log into your e-citizen, mm -hmm. uh, do a name search, mm -hmm. and uh, if it's approved, then you just pay, I think it's, hundred and f it's 850 Kenya shillings, okay. plus 150. That's for registration? Yes, okay. for business. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, you can always start with business mm -hmm. before you, because a uh, company can be a little bit demanding. Eh? Mm -hmm. You can always start with business first, and then you can, when you grow now, you can proceed, trans proceed to 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 do a company. Okay. So you just do a name search. If it's approved, then you are going to go. Sunny says that. Oh, so how does Dell make uh, media intent when it comes to distribution of your own uh, content? How do you guys intend to just uh, uh, get the content uh, content out there? Because I've realized you guys are known on YouTube, and that's the first place I ran to. So uh, why that decision? Uh, they'll make me days in YouTube. Okay. You can search at... Um, but there's no content. There is... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I why there is no content yes. uh, there is because... Uh, I registered Dell Mick Media early this year. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And then <laughs> Fair enough. Hakuna kusulubisha tena. Hakuna. 
I, and then after I registered it, eh, mm -hmm. and then he, I, I was intending to do quite a number of uh, uh, programs mm -hmm. before Corona came. Okay. Uh, then when Corona came, mm -hmm. uh, lucky enough, I had done a, a, a short film last year, mm -hmm. an English one, English Swahili, and Nikakata uh, Kata, uh, that trailer. Actually, mm -hmm. you can get Dell McMedia, sir. Easy. Okay. Please, you, get, you subscribe mm -hmm. and watch that trailer. It's there in it the last trip. The last trip is there. Mm -hmm. that, and uh, uh, and some other things that we do. Right. And uh, so, when we applied for the short film Vivian, eh? mm -hmm. uh, and when we got it, we said, eh, now, well, you know what? We're going to launch this YouTube channel with mm -hmm. a bang. Mm. So the best thing I can tell my viewers right now is rush there, subscribe, get your seat, and wait and relax. We're still in waiting mode. Yeah, we are shooting Vivian this week. Okay. <laughs> so very, very <laughs> soon you are going to get a lot of content. Mm -hmm. And Vivian is our baby film. Mm -hmm. um, we, we really want to, 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 to bring it in style mm -hmm. and to premiere it in style in YouTube. Mm -hmm. And that will be our starting point. Then you'll come out there and see boyfriend. Ah, you'll come there okay. and some other content. And Still I'll, the same the same month or this year? I, 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 I'm this really year. passionate about this. I really hope that it will happen uh, within the same the, the shooting, mm -hmm. the, the the production. The pre-production part of it is like we are done mm -hmm. the pre-production. Mm -hmm. We are now because the, the the 250 is not enough for two films. Mm -hmm. eh? We are now looking for further partnership with other uh, other partners that we can work with to do uh, the unseen boyfriend mm. so that now we can uh, produce them all together okay. and premiere them kwa watu waone so so uh, oh, sorry allow me to to, to, <laughs> to say this about delmic yes, media yes delmic media we we also do uh, other corporate advertisements mm -hmm. we do radio ads mm -hmm. we do tvcs okay. uh, basically all kind of ad advertisements mm -hmm. we do mm -hmm. and uh, with the concept of, of uh, clients mm -hmm. to nazi upload kwa a YouTube channel yetu, we can be, people can watch our stuff there. Oh. So uh, very soon, again, just go subscribe mm -hmm. and wait re and relax. Relax okay. and wait. Oh, so the industry, the, the, the film industry has been disrupted during uh, this time of the pandemic mm. and uh, when you look at Hollywood most movies have been postponed uh, like I was looking forward to The Unseen Man which has been taken to 2021 mm. and uh, I was trying to figure this out why can't uh, these particular movies or even our movies be just uh, be launched uh, through like a streaming platform um. Uh, actually, not even in Hollywood alone, because mm. even here in Kenya, yes. most of the films, they were set to premiere in, in March and, and April, but uh, uh, unfortunately it did not happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason as to why uh, they were to hold, because during the premiere, that's where the, um, the investor gets to get uh, his, his, his uh, ROI, returns on investment. Mm -hmm. So, because basically, premium is Munakuja to Nera Pare Theater to Nalipa. Yes. yes to and Ipa. then we watch, we pay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so basically, in YouTube, you see there is no uh, return on investment like ASAP. Mm -hmm. You need to pay actors, you need to pay for equipment, you need to, to prepare for another film. So, uh, I think it's a consideration that uh, filmmakers tend to see it's not possible, it's not uh, gonna happen. And if we just premiere it maybe in VODs, mm -hmm. it's not going to give us the returns. Right. So, but uh, I, I think things will just normalize and we'll go back to theaters. Do you feel like we'll actually go back to theater, like we'll go back to normal where now we're in theaters, just as it used to be, or we'll go back to home theaters? We'll still remain in home theaters, Mbani. I think if on Saturday we went to church then, <laughs> <laughs> we shall go to theaters eh? uh -huh. uh, because uh, all what you need to do is that now life will never be the same again. Mm, that's true. Uh, hakuna ile crowding mingi ati tunaka mm -hmm. watu, tunameshikana, tunapinga mm -hmm. ma high five. Mm -hmm. We shall be keeping those social distance and probably maybe we shall be having more, more, more sessions than before. Mm -hmm. Because like before we used to have like maybe uh, two sessions, two premiers in a, in a, in a day. Mm -hmm. So maybe we might need to adjust and add more so that we can accommodate more people. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, so the the film uh, the the uh, I would like to find out the, about the film commission, uh, the Kenyan film commission, mm. uh, when it comes to just uh, looking out for the artist. Mm. You know, the president uh, uh, during the earlier uh, earlier month or earlier times of COVID nineteen when he just kicked in uh, around March. He issued out a hundred million going back to the artist, and most artists receive the ten k. But I would like to find out: is there any other uh, structure or programs that this particular artist they can uh, still sustain themselves out of just being doing what they love? But during to, during this time of pandemic, it's impossible. It, it, it's really very trying moment to artists right now, mm -hmm. and uh, again, it's a blessing in these days because okay. I have come to realize that uh, during this time artists have come to realize oh it's not just about, about TV and film only so there is something else we can do we can do a, a YouTube channel and we can be uh, influencers I've seen a lot of uh, people uh, filmmakers now mm -hmm. because they are akuna set means in happen at this time they have decided to go back to to, to YouTube mm -hmm. uh, premiering their short films there mm -hmm. uh, five minutes clips uh, maybe 30 minutes clips and they f uh, they premiere there even not even filmmakers and actors on even musicians and DJs you've seen them everywhere they are premiered they work so easy I think it was a time to realize that uh, there is another TV called uh, mm. online TV. Yes. You can go down there. Mm -hmm. If you cannot be able to access uh, uh, maybe Y254, you can yeah. go down on online and watch your favorite uh, DJs before things resume. Mm. So it, it's not really easy because it's not just a matter of waking up in the morning and uh, because getting those subscribers. Mm. Eh? And you know YouTube, there is, there is money in YouTube. But you really need to work very hard because you have to get those subscribers. You have to be get consistent. Yes, be consistent, consistent in uh, content, and uh, that still uh, needs a lot of money. Okay. So I have to say that it's it's really a very trying moment, and I really want to appreciate Kenyans because they have mm -hmm. decided to show support even to those uh, YouTube creators and Facebook uh, live guys who are going there because. What to Wamiamata? We just give us your pay bill number, mm. give us your MPESA number. You can be sending you something, appreciating. Yes, you can give you tokens, mm -hmm. and I really ap appreciate uh, Kenyans for that because it's it's really working for some of the artists. Okay, what are some of the lessons that you have learned during this time, during these uncertain uh, times? That probably in the near future, in your projects, you will look out for and you will actually prepare for. Let me tell you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. This is a time that I have seen, like, I, it's like I was in school. Uh, because when things happened, the Venezuela, I couldn't really move because I, of the obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Nimimi Hapo online, learning a lot of things. And uh, I decided to, to learn more about script writing. Mm -hmm. And this is an area that I've really wanted to, to, to major in. Because, well, when it comes to, to camera work, I'm good in camera work, I'm good in directing, I'm good in uh, uh, and editing. Basically, pro production, I really need to improve like script writing. And through uh, online master classes, eh, mm -hmm. I came to realize that there is something in me that has been hidden, and this is time to unleash. Right. And this the Lawrence script writer. Let me surprise you. I wrote Vivian. Uh, before I wrote Vivian, I, I wrote The Unseen Boyfriend before, before Vivian. Okay. Okay. And I was not really confident about this. I was like, ah. Unseen Boyfriend was my very first, it was like a, a lesson. Mm -hmm. I really needed to do this to, to see whether I can come up with something. I wrote The Unseen Boyfriend, I shared with my fellow script writers and filmmakers and they told me, hey, but mm -hmm. I don't do this, this is the first script I've, read, I've written, mm -hmm. a like professional script. Mm -hmm. Me and I can synopsis in a past script writer song and I'm here, I'm going to story in Angalia. And then I decided, let me learn. So to me, uh, it has been a great experience uh, learning how to do a professional script and uh, submitting a script mm -hmm. and being considered and getting funding. 
uh, I think it's something that I could hear for the rest of my life. All right. <laughs> so for you, it was more of learning, uh, learning much more about your area of profession yes. or what's something which you want to do like, uh, like full time, which mm. is filmmaking. So for yeah. someone who is in the same industry or even in a just different profession, and they have been going through a lot during, during this time. Mental health is a, it's a it's a it's a huge uh, issue out here. People are going through depression, anxiety. And what would be your message for someone who probably lost their job during this particular time mm. and the person who is just uh, having anxiety attacks, thinking about the future, the uncertainty that comes with this particular pandemic? So what would be your words for that particular person? Uh, one thing I would like them to understand that they are, they are, they, 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 whoever is speaking is a victim of a, of a job, uh, losing a job. Mm -hmm. I was uh, retrenched last year, mm -hmm. the month of uh, October. At that time, the, the, the one corona did not even exist in our minds. So it was just here, yeah, and employer decided, now you, um, I don't want you, you guys go home. So it was not an easy moment for me. Mm -hmm. But I came to realize that there is life after employment. Mm -hmm. There is life after that every day's work in the office waking up going to that office in the there is a lot of opportunities out here all what you need to do is accept the fact that this is a pandemic it's affecting everyone not like us it was not an epidemic like a, a, a disaster a national disaster it is a disaster it's a pandemic it's not only in kenya it's worldwide people are being affected business zimekwama uh, now, if you've lost job at this particular moment, you need to just to wake up again and realize, you know what? Uh, life is not about one way. You can, if you lose this way, you can compose yourself and find another way on out. There are a lot of opportunities. And uh, at this time, you really need to work. You need to forget about your degree and hustle like a school dropout. You see, you have mm. to forget about all those degrees, all those masters. Because right now there are no employments. People are being retrenched day in, day out. But you know people are eating, right? People are traveling, right? You have to eat each and every day. So you end up home, avocados, go to Zia, to turn before you find yourself out. <laughs> and Lawrence, you love avocados, don't you? <laughs> every example has been avocados. No, I you paid the avocados. <laughs> okay, so uh, like right now, no much. There's no much going on when it comes to film production. Uh, your producers have taken a layback seat. So the economy, the film uh, industry, when economy has been really hit hard. I would like to find out what are some of the ways in which uh, COVID nineteen has affected the film industry. Uh, now, w one of the greatest things that uh, we did really face as filmmakers is that uh, uh, there are no social gatherings. As you know, in a, in a film set, you really mm -hmm. have to have a crowd. Mm -hmm. You see, a film on location, you have to really have a, a big crowd. And now that is prohibiting. Mm -hmm. You cannot have uh, more than 15 people on one set. So maybe ile shootungefanya within a day, now you have to split it to some other days so that you can accommodate. Uh, some enough crew, maybe uh, uh, one personnel can multitask now to cover. Kama ni maybe assistant director, unakuta anafanya baka continuity, anafanya baka set and props. Mm -hmm. So it's really affecting a, a lot of people. And uh, that is one thing, social gathering, hakuna hizo vitu. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually it's the main thing. And again, Right now, you'll do a film. Okay, thank God now we have KFC and you made to fad. Uh, uh, initially, we used to fad ourselves. We not after script, we not after script writer, we not after crew, uh, pre-production, production, post-production, post -production, you fad it all yourself. And it's very expensive, by the way. Because to do a feature film, uh, you have to have uh, like three to five M to do one feature film. Mm -hmm. That is from your own pocket. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you do that under, uh, under, under the normal circumstances that it's, it's actually it's an abnormal circumstances that we are in right now, where will you get the, your returns? Mm -hmm. 
uh, because there are no uh, theaters right now. You cannot just you cannot just shoot right now blindly and say that you type premier. You mm. don't know what's really happening. Mm -hmm. So he can say in Iku, chapa ma script na kuzueka, kuchapa ma script na kuzueka. Mm -hmm. Hoping for a good day, a better day, that uh, the economy will open up and okay. people will be allowed to go to theaters and maybe to tapa. Because even at, uh, right now, at least we theater. Utadi pata wa yakoenda ku watch movie kwa mama utenda ku kudumu avocados. We will prioritize avocados for our basic needs. <laughs> So what is the strategy that you have when it comes to implementing your your projects, considering what you've said, there's no gathering, there's this restriction due, due to this global pandemic. What are, what are some of your strategies to make sure Vivian come to life, the unseen boyfriend come to life? Um, as I said before, mm -hmm. uh, right now, because uh, Vivian, Vivian is a, is a themed it's a COVID-19 themed story mm -hmm. uh, that needs to be produced and it has been funded by Kenya Film Commission. So mm -hmm. uh, we had our auditions and uh, we got the talents that we, are really wa we really want to work with. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, guys on ground who are still working every day, every day, every day mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that we have a, 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 a smooth run on set mm -hmm. come this week when you are hoping to shoot. So that is on Friday. Mm -hmm. So, so, so um, uh, the, the strategy that I use is I, I, I accommodate quite a lot of people and they are on crowd now working. Within two, three days, we are now taking like a, a week so that we can have uh, to secure to me kusanyika watu wengi sana. And uh, people can have their space and can have their time to work within their time. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the oh, space the time timelines zenye tumeweka ndio zina tusaidia sana to get to the actualization the ac avocados <laughs> <laughs> actualization of this film eh? uh, so uh, that is one of the strategies that we are we are using mm -hmm. accommodating quite a lot of, um, of people mm -hmm. when you work on crowd mm -hmm. and again taking this film mm -hmm. down there on crowd because mm. I could a lot of congestion mm. at Embu Town. There's a lot of congestion mm. as, opposed, as opposed to when we would have shot it here in Nairobi. Mm. There was a lot of uh, pressure. Okay. Right now, uh, we're still on an uncertain mode. We don't know when entertainment joints will be open up. That is our theater. Uh, what is your uh, way of distribution now? What are you looking at when it comes to distributing your content, uh, marketing? Yes. Uh, uh, our main uh, cont co distribution channel will be on our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. that is uh, Delmic Media, mm -hmm. that is our main. And then from there, we are really hoping and we are working with the county government of Embu through Talent Academy to have uh, this film being shown on at uh, the Talent Academy Center in Embu. To talk on a screen, mm -hmm. everyone can come and watch this one mm -hmm. and it will be free, mm -hmm. it will be free of charge. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, then of course, uh, uh, through the guide of Kenya Film Commission, do you remember this is a, this is a, a, a film oh. commission, Kenya Film Commission commissioning right. project? Mm -hmm. So they will, at some point, they will dictate on which channels. So though, when we are doing submissions, we stated that we shall have a, a maybe free to air channels who are willing to work with us we can give them the short films and they can show them ataka white five or willing we can partner with them mm -hmm. and i'm sure this is a government entity so maybe kenya film commission will decide let it be shown here too as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. we don't have any problem with the, with this because uh, a vivian short film is a it's a cautioning story mm -hmm. that is really telling us about how to live about these times of coronavirus okay yes what's the future like for dalmic media hey, it's quite bright <laughs> <laughs> we are hoping to have a lot of people coming on board and uh, we, we we really hope to employ a lot of people as dalmic media mm -hmm. as it grows we will have a, we already have a film center uh, film department mm -hmm. at Delmic Media okay. and we have a advertisement center, um, a department 
ya Delmic Media whereby we are we are dealing with corporate adverts we have a lot of adverts mm -hmm. zoni that i cannot mention mm -hmm. the client's name on yes, here yes. that have been produced by mm -hmm. delmic media mm -hmm. na tunasikia daily to daily to daily to ziko uh, in on air okay. and uh, so we have those uh, departments that really want to have people working on them uh, advertisements and uh, filmmakings. And you guys are based back in Embo? No, Del Media is based in Nairobi. Okay. We are based in Nairobi, mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, we, we really travel. Mm -hmm. At film, we have to shoot a 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 film. Like now, um, in September, we are hoping to have another shoot at Meru okay. as Dell Mic Media. Okay. But our main office is Kohoku Nero because this is where a lot of business is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So for someone who is watching us and uh, they would like to be part of Dell Mic Media, maybe as actors, mm -hmm. uh, scriptwriters, mm -hmm. directors, how how can they go about that and how can they find you on social media? Uh, okay. At a uh, you unaza ni follow kwa Instagram um Lawrence Joy you'll find a lot of stuff there about Del Mic Media mm -hmm. yeah and uh, uh, Facebook it's Lawrence Joy Instagram uh, Lawrence Joy M that is where you'll find me and uh, we do post a lot of things there and when it comes to uh, advertisements when it comes to auditions posters we, sh we we put a lot of things there so everyone as long as you are uh, talented just keep watching and uh, we shall be we shall continue posting a lot of stuff there uh, when it comes to auditions when it comes to maybe job opportunities or everything you can get them at my hados all right so thank you very much uh lawrence enjoy for creating time to just have this conversation on matters pertaining film i miss covid 19. so until next time yeah, we'll be right back. we'll be here now launching vivian can I give thanks to uh, my partners? It's okay. It's okay, Lawrence. <laughs> you have the opportunity. <laughs> Thank you. I really want to appreciate uh, the, 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 the county government of Embu mm -hmm. for really partnering with us okay. and giving us a platform and giving us uh, some of the facilities that we shall use and machines that we shall use mm -hmm. uh, for uh, Vivian shoot. Mm -hmm. I really want to thank uh, in particular, there is this lady who really pushed me to do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. uh, Ashley Muruga, as I said, she's uh, a former Tidy High actress okay. and she's in the government of Embu, Department of Communication. Nice. She's the deputy uh, communication officer. And then I really want to thank to uh, the likes of Dennis Muho. He's the OJ. OJ is a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. uh, County government of Embu, Saizi diana train, wale watu tudi wachukua, the, 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 the cast denye tudisema audio tawak na wao, tudisema nao uh, deno, tunamitanga deno, now oh, you have okay. to take this initiative mm -hmm. OJ, mm -hmm. please train them, mm -hmm. have a two days training, nikingia nao set, watakuwa polished it, so na basically the entire crew ya nyatu mm -hmm. uh, we have akina vini, akina imani, akina pish, and my DOP and my partner in crime, uh, Don Kaimeni, he is here in Nairobi. And we decided we are going to do this. Okay. We shall do it as a teamwork. Nice. And it has to happen. Actually, I can it's, see it will happen. Yeah. And how, how, how can you even be able to remember all those names? I'm amused. You mentioned a couple <laughs> of so many names. Come on, those are very few. I, if, if you give me a chance, that I, I can tell you. Nessa Kwambia, my old crew says now. Okay. Have you missed out on anything? Anything you, you want to tell you, the viewers, and just to be sure that I'm not leaving Lawrence hanging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are good? It cannot be enough. It <laughs> can never be enough. And Absolutely. I, That's the reason why you have to come back. Yeah, I have to come back. If anytime, I really have to appreciate mm -hmm. uh, World 254. Yes. And uh, for giving me this chance, mm -hmm. uh, producer Mato is mm -hmm. a friend of mine. Okay. Yeah, he's in the homie. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, guys. Lawrence, uh, enjoy a filmmaker. Make sure you stay tuned. Uh, right now, we'll be going to uh, show commercial music break and we'll be right back.